Good evening, everybody. This is Adam Vore, Vice President of the Citizens Committee for Restructured Government. The date is May 23rd, 2012. Uh, I was deciding not to do a video tonight, but I said, you know what? I was looking at some news stories, and I was like, oh, I had to do it. I just wanted to rest, but um, bottom line is I had to put the, videos, the stories out so you guys would know what's going on. It's very important stuff. Let's go right into it. Media blackout as Obama appoints first ever assassination czar. Um, Obama just appointed John Brennan, the chief counterterrorism advisor, and that's basically just a fancy name for um, he has the they basically have the rights to assassinate. It's an assassination program to basically kill anybody in the United States that they so choose uh, that needs to be assassinated because they go against the enemy's agenda. So as you can see, according to reports from the Associated Press, John Brennan has now seized the lead in choosing who will be targeted for drone attacks and raids, and Obama has delegated him the sole authority to designate people for assassination under the United States' top-secret assassination program. Okay? The, this is some heavy shit. You know what I mean? Um... No one's even talking about this. There's a couple new stories tonight that I'm going to show you that no one's talking about. This is definitely one that they're not talking about. If you want to get good news, let's go to RT America. Uh, they have very good news. That stands for Russian Today. But, I mean, of course, it's in Russia's best interest to show how much our country is you know, messed up. But um, the bottom line is uh, all, it's all true news stories. I, I, I verified all the facts. It's all true stuff. They're very good, and they're very to the point, and they're very precise. I highly recommend you sign up with these people and listen to what they got to say. Lockerbie, CIA made U.S. State Department attorney lie to U.N. Security Council. You know, uh, that's from a while ago, but I'm not surprised. The link's going to be at the bottom. Next. Unmanned spy planes are being launched from 63 locations in 20 states. Is there one near you? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, the b bottom line is they're starting to put a lot of these drones out there, and they're getting ready to go. And they're moving around the country, and they're going to start monitoring everything we do, monitoring, you know, it's just, it's really getting to be, it's really getting to be like 1982 or whatever that year book, you know, was written. But it's getting, uh, it's getting heavy. It's getting heavy. And um, something's got to be done soon, uh, you know, or it's going to take a whole lot of prayer. But either way, you can read the article. Link's going to be in the bottom. This is a video about these are ramen noodles you know the, the packaged ramen noodles um, with the little spice packet in it they show you that w what it does inside your stomach they're actually showing you how that how they're made of crap because you can eat the ramen noodles and they put a camera in the stomach and they found out that over hours and hours of digesting it stays the same while a normal pasta dinner you can see it broken down you can see it broken down it's like a dough ball in the stomach it's not like the ramen noodles where they're still together um, it's it's pretty bad ramen noodles aren't even real food in my opinion and nobody should be eating them they're total toxic total poison next link California food police now targeting residents uh, I don't know if the photograph is a so I didn't, hmm. there was a photograph on the link but I don't see it now but bottom line is this SWAT team in California are targeting residents um, that are basically have all natural food they're going after say the war on natural food and it's pretty bad right now because um, now you're not even allowed to grow organic food what's up with that I mean come on how are you supposed to live in normally without having a proper diet especially when you know everything's messed up. But let's see, um, in a bombshell revelation of the Department of oh, Depth of the Food Police State that now exists in L.A. County, California, Natural News has learned the L.A. County Health Department has unleashed door-to-door -door raw milk confiscation teams to threaten and intimidate raw dairy customers into surrendering raw milk products that legally purchase and own. The reason why they don't want them having the raw milk is very simply because it has the colostrum. Colostrum is the pure antibodies that the mommy cow gives into her milk to the baby cow which it gives the immune system a boost to the newborn so the newborn can fight off all the bacteria and diseases in the environment so when you take that hardcore colostrum in the raw milk you're actually boosting your immune system and preventing yourself from getting sick that is why they don't want these people having raw milk because they're spraying us with chemtrails they're putting poison and they're putting fluoride in the water they're you know putting toxins in the food genetically modified organisms and this stuff they you know is basically lowers your immune system and it turns you into a zombie and they're trying to stop people from getting their anti-zombie you know 
you know, ingredients, whatever they may use, you know, all natural raw milk, which has the colostrum in it, and they don't want people to basically be healthy. They're trying to make everybody sick. It's totally fucked up. Totally fucked up. Uh, Fury spreads. Catholic leaders join MRC outrage over network silence on Catholics versus Obama lawsuit. Now, I didn't know about... I'm a Catholic. I'm a traditionalist Roman Catholic, and I did not know this, but... Uh, Apparently, as you can see, nine prominent Catholic leaders have joined the Media Research Center to voice outrage over the broadcast networks deliberately withholding news of the momentous 43 Catholic entities suing the Obama administration for violating their religious freedoms. But that's all they tell you. They don't really tell you anything else. They just tell you like other stupid filler like 60 million Catholics in the U.S., Catholic vote will be the most important swing vote, blah, blah, blah. But that's all they tell you. There's a major lawsuit between the Catholic Church and Obama. And that's all they tell you. There's nothing else on the news about it, and it's going on right now. And who knows what it could be. But apparently, you know, they are claiming that it's because they violated their, you know, religious rights. So that's very important news, especially, you know, if you know any Catholics, make sure they know about this story and send them this link to this video. Okay, we're going uh, to end with some photos today. This is um, a mega sprayer. This is the chemtrail unit. This is what they're doing, Okay. They're basically putting in canisters, like keg-sized canisters, with the chemtrail spraying agent, putting, loading it at the top like a gas can, and every single one, as you can see, goes all around there. And they're using all this stuff, and they're spraying us. And they're telling these scientists and people, oh, it's for protecting the atmosphere from the radiation, from the radiation, and so whatever crap story they tell them. Meanwhile, they're totally fucking us, and they're poisoning us, and, they're, and they think they're doing it for science when they're totally screwing us, so you can't really blame them. But there are people that know why they're doing it, and those are the upper levels of the you know Satanic Brotherhood Freemasonry. But they're totally spraying us. They're totally, you know, this is proof right here. Proof positive. You know what I'm saying? Right there in front of your face. This has been going on in Chicago with the um, people protesting the NATO summit. And look at all the blue helmets. Look at all the NATO police. These are NATO police. These aren't even, whether they're from America or China or, where, or whatever country, these are NATO police. Okay? Even though it's a Chicago police on it with the blue helmet. These people, um... They're working directly for NATO. And you, they, are, they were showing them outside the NATO building, protecting NATO, and they were also working with NATO police. It was, it was bad. Just I'll, I'll go to the next. Let me see. What's there you go. That's all the police that they need to use against that, the crowd of people. And all these people want to do is peaceful, peaceful protest. That's all they want to do. They want to let you know, hey, guys, you know, and they're sending a message. They're letting everybody know, hey, you know, we want things to change. What are you going to do about it? And they are resisting the change. People want change. They don't want change. I just thought that was a nice photo. This is from Occupy Wall Street. Well, where is this from? Uh, Quebec. Uh, yesterday. They're striking apparently for 100 days. I don't know what about here, but... Uh, Hmm. I would like to know that actually. We gotta figure that what what they're striking about. But so the people are pissed off in Canada too. That's another nation right there. More people standing up. And I just want to end with this picture today. The Earth is not dying; it is being killed, and the people who are killing it have names and addresses. Said by Utah Phillips. Now, what I take from that is that you know this is what they're doing to our planet, but we know where they are and where they live. Okay, they can hide anywhere they want in the world. They're always going to be found. No one is one ever one hundred percent safe unless you go to God. And you know, the, it's just, it's just, you know, it's getting, it's getting worse. But at the same time, I see it getting better. And I want everybody to join together, you know, in harmony. I really do want a peaceful planet, everybody. I really, you know, hope you can help us at the Citizens Committee for Restructured Government because we need your help. We need your help to get this, you know, message out there. We need to tell people what's going on in the world, and it's getting to be too late and I'm always posed with the question you know do I want to keep doing this mission and waste my time or do I just focus upon a business and make money and it's I always come back to this because there is no choice someone has to do it and I'm asking you guys to please help us do it bless us if you can tell us if your friends if you can find any beneficial you know benefactors we would really appreciate it because we want to get things done we want to bring people together we want to televise all the innocent victims that have been abused in the child sexual scandals we want to put it on you know cable access across the nation and provide armed bodyguards to protect these you know victims that have been used and raped and abused and all not to mention all the other people on the and the government defectors we know people we want to get things rolling so please help us in any way you can god bless you all you're all in my prayers i pray for all of you that 
that watch this video and for all of you that don't understand the truth. And uh, just keep up the good work, everybody. Just stay in our faith. God bless.